Imagine being a young child and waiting for your parent to finish gambling outside a casino, in a car, or home alone. Imagine having popcorn for dinner and then the next morning having popcorn with milk on it for breakfast because there's no food in the house. Imagine your family splitting up and you having to depend on the taxpayers for public assistance. Imagine being told that you've had a parent kill themselves because of gambling addiction. I don't have to imagine it because I lived most of it. What I've described previously is, has happened to myself or one of my classmates in my elementary school in a small town 35 miles east of Las Vegas. Boulder City didn't even have slot machines in it. So if you think just because slot machines aren't going to be located in your town that you won't have any problems, well, that's just not true. The National Gambling Impact Study Commission was formed by Congress in the late 1990s. Frank Ferenkopf, head of the American Gaming Association, testified before them and said, they're going to parade person after person in front of you with a hard luck story, but you need to base your decision on statistics and not this. This is anecdotal evidence only. Well, that afternoon I gave my testimony to the Commission and I said that every true anecdote is a statistic. Frank Ferenkopf goes all over the country trying to convince states to expand gambling. But he said that if they ever tried to bring slot machines to his hometown in McLean, Virginia, that he'd fight hard against them. He even used the phrase NIMBY, not in my backyard. So if the head of the American Gaming Association doesn't want slot machines in his neighborhood, why would we vote to put them in our neighborhoods? In November, you will not see the phrase slot machine on the ballot. You'll see video lottery terminals. A lot of the people will think, you know, we already have the lottery here in Maryland, so I guess it's okay if I vote for it. But the forms of gambling we have here right now can be equated with marijuana. Video lottery terminals, slot machines, and frankly any electronic gambling device has been called the crack cocaine of gambling because of their highly addictive nature and the fact that they addict people much more quickly than other forms of gambling. I ask you to do your own research. Go to any internet browser and type in the words costs of gambling addiction and then decide for yourself if you think that slot machines are a good idea for Maryland. Remember, with slot machines, the only way for Maryland to win is for Marylanders to lose. Vote no on slot machines and video lottery terminals in November.